Your Honor, defense calls Mike Ross to the stand. Objection. My client has a right to attorney-client privilege. And per Kern v. California, I'm not going to ask about things since you've been her lawyer. I'm going to ask about what happened before. Then there's nothing for me to testify to, and Kern doesn't apply. Are you kidding me? You went against her on the very case you say led to her dismissal. Is this true, Mr. Ross? Yes, Your Honor. Then swear him in. Mr. Ross, isn't it true that Ms. Wheeler wiped the floor with you on the Brick Street Athletics case? She won, yes. And what were your feelings after she wiped the floor with you? Objection, Your Honor, baiting. I'll rephrase. What were your feelings after your client lost his precious little company that you were trying to help him start? I was upset. Upset? Isn't it true that the night you lost that case, you accused me of fabricating evidence? I did. And when I denied it, what did you say exactly? Objection. The witness can't be asked to recall the exact words of a conversation that happened weeks ago. He can if he has a perfect memory. You do have a perfect memory, don't you, Mr. Ross? Isn't that what you're always bragging about? Yes, but No I... buts. You said she fabricated evidence. You said she bribed somebody. You said she cheated your client out of his company. Now, I may not have a perfect memory, but I sure as hell remember that. Am I wrong? I don't care what I said. I had no proof that anyone fabricated anything, and neither did your client the night she fired mine. No, she just knew it in her gut. Exactly like you did the night you came screaming at me. No further questions, Your Honor. I said something else that night that clearly you've forgotten. Objection, we didn't ask- I said that you've lost yourself, and as far as I'm concerned, that's still true. And as far as the law is concerned, my opening statement is still true, because it doesn't matter if Miss Wheeler crossed a line or not. Faye Richardson had cause. And nothing you say is gonna change that. It was us doing what we had to. Yeah, and that bullshit might work on everyone else, but it doesn't work on me. Robert? God damn it, Lewis! You were supposed to be on our side. Listen to me, I know how this looks, but you are gonna have to trust us. Well, that's getting pretty hard to do. And after that little stunt with Mike, Samantha's only move is to drop this thing, unless you can tell what? me. No, she can't do that. Well, Lewis, sounds like you give a shit about what we do after all, so fix this goddamn thing or I'm gonna fix it myself.